Hi, and welcome to Poetry Passages. I'm Clifford Reams, and it's Arbor Day, a day dedicated to the celebration and the planting of trees. But if you're not in the position to plant a tree, hugging them is a perfectly acceptable pastime. Although I've been out wandering in these woods for a while and I haven't seen anybody hugging trees. Well, except crazy old me. Anyway, I have a poem today by Tricia Knowles, and it comes out of this anthology called The Path to Kindness, Poems of Connection and Joy, edited by James Cruz. And it's hot off the presses, just came out a couple weeks ago, and is a follow-up to the best-selling anthology How to Love the World, Poems of Gratitude and Hope. I highly recommend them both. Now, Trisha's poem got me wondering how many of you out there have a special tree in your life that perhaps serves as a backdrop or a centerpiece to certain, certain memories or experiences, perhaps from childhood. I know I do, and if you do too, please let us know in the comments below. I'd love to see those. By Trisha Knoll. This is My Daughter Meets My White Pine, and there's an epigraph here which I'll read for you now. That was my woodlot, that was my lot in the woods. The silvery needles of the pine straining the light. Henry David Thoreau. My daughter meets my white pine. If we add it together your age and mine, this pine is older, destined to outlive us both. Touch its bark, trace the puzzle pieces, a thin maple twines beside and up inside the pine, maple's gold flaunting its place within the wind-blown silver. You study the bowing to earth gnarled branching of this wolf tree, an old one spared to leave shade for grazers when the woods was cleared for pasture, a century older than other trees in the forest. You see my sacred tree as a scientist does. I see this as a mother. We are not so different. Years from now, return to sit under one limb or the other to remember me after the crickets stop singing. So that is My Daughter Meets My White Pine by Trisha Knowles. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you again real soon, right here on Poetry Passages, and happy Arbor Day. Now let's go hug some trees. Come on.